Yeah, the Watts Riot in 65, there's a lot of stories about the Watts Riot. We were down there on Central Avenue throwing railroad spikes at cars and stuff like that, and burn, baby burn. You know, they had a DJ called Montague, and he was on uh, the radio station, and he started a phase called Burn, Baby Burn, and that was a phase during the riot, Burn, Baby Burn. And some of the first buildings that were burned were burned right in my neighborhood. You know, the liquor store, they hit the liquor store first and stuff like that. And we had episodes where we were, you know, looting and stuff like this and we would actually bring stereos out to furniture stores when we started looting and stuff and our parents would be sitting on the porch saying boys y'all shouldn't be doing that and then they would say stuff like but bring it here since you got it <laughs> i mean yeah we just had it was just to us it was like a fun all night long you know it wasn't really the news media was looking at it as being you know a political insurrection and stuff like that but we as young i was 15 years old at the time and I was looking at it like just being a time to throw railroad spikes at cars and run all night and, you know, like that, watch supermarkets and stuff burn down. And it, it was really a recreational thing for us, you know, more than an anger thing. You know, that's why the LAPD, they would come in and they would order, uh, don't shoot. And then the National Guard came in, you know, and stuff like that. And the main, the negative thing about the riot is that they confined us basically to our shopping areas, our supermarkets, and we burnt down everything we needed. So after a while, we couldn't go to the supermarket and get nothing to eat and stuff like that. We didn't, they didn't, they didn't, they formed a perimeter around us and they said, as long as they burn it in Watts, leave them alone, you know, like that. Just patrol and make sure they don't do, no. They the National Guard protected post offices and government facilities and, and stuff like that. But as far as our little shoe stores and our little businesses and stuff like that, even though they were run by Jewish people, but that was, that was our means, you know, to buy a little furniture and stuff like that. So they let us just burn all that down, you know, like that. And then the nation looked upon and ridiculed and said, they burn their own neighborhood down. But actually, we were striking out against the system, you know, that, that we knew as being the man that would come into the community, collect the money, and then drive out to the suburbs, take all the money out of the community, the liquor store owners, the store owners, and stuff like that. So that's what we were striking out against. We weren't striking out against ourselves. And if you looked at the riot after the riot was over with, you saw that little black stores and stuff like that, that we knew were black stores, you know, Ma and Paul stores and stuff like that. A store would be burnt here, a store would survive here, and stuff like that, you know, if you looked at it closely. So you'd understand that we selectively, you know, picked out different establishments.